Here with Gardner Webb head coach Carol McCray at the conclusion of Big South Media Day yeah. here in Charlotte. It was always a long day, but a fun day. You get to, yeah. get, get to meet with a lot of okay. old friends and some folks here in Charlotte that we, we, we love to be around. So uh, what are some of the things you took away from today, one, and, and two, what are some of the things you're looking forward to as we get ready for camp here in two weeks? Uh, well, I really uh, saw how Big South Conference has grown, you okay. know, and and how we're continuing to work all together, you know, to, to make a prestigious league we can all be proud of. Uh, also saw a lot of good-looking football players and a lot of motivated coaches, so we got to get our football team ready to go. But uh, really pleased to be a part of this conference and to see what we've been doing on a national level and uh, really excited to, to, to move our program toward that mark so that we can play for the championship in the near future. Just two weeks before camp starts. Yep. Like I said, I always get those itch in August, everything just rolling there. All the guys come back. It's like a good big homecoming. Yep. And get right to work the next day. What are some of the things you hope to accomplish early in camp that, that can lead to some success this year? For I think we got some spots we're really looking at. You know, we 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 still got to shore up some issues with our offensive line. We got to get a few more. Uh, right guard in place and a few guys, you know, in some backup roles. Need to see some receivers come back from the injury. Kyle Horton as well as Ralph Jolly. We need to see them come out and see where they're going to be in the mix at the wide receiver core. Looking for Khalil Lewis to come off a uh, year where he was out half the season with his elbow. So, got some injured guys I want to see step up. And then, you know, looking forward to the growth of Tyrell Maxwell, our quarterback. So, uh, and some depth there, but uh, offensively, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do as far as being more fast-paced and being very, very productive there. Defensively, you know, our secondary, we got some guys coming back that have played a lot. I want to see those guys along with our outside linebackers, Chad Jeter and Aaron Cook, really pitch in together to help grow our inside linebackers and our defensive front as we lost some guys there. So we've had a great summer, and uh, but looking for a lot of progress. I think August is critical for us. A good four-week period where we're going to be together a whole lot. Need to see our football team take a big step as we head into the Elon week. I think a big South Conference meeting day with Chad Jeter and Caleb Smith, guys. Almost ready to wrap up a long day. You've had a lot of chance to talk with media around the area here in Charlotte. Uh, what are some of the things you took away from the day uh, as you head into the season? It was just a good experience being here, seeing all the players, the coaches. Just, I'm really pumped about the season now. It's a wonderful experience. I appreciate y'all letting us come. And uh, the thing I took away from it is a lot of people are doubting us. So I think that we need to prove them wrong, show them what we can do. We've got about 10 days till uh, you guys get back on campus and report for preseason camp. What are some of the things you're going to do between now and then to get ready for the current event? Just rest up, maintain my body, and just make sure I'm ready to go full speed for camp this year. Rest, you got to stay, stay in shape still. You can't come back and let everything you've done all summer go to waste. So I ask each one of you this, uh, what's the one thing that excites you the most about the 2016 season in Gordon Will football? Proving people wrong. Having opportunities to prove a lot of people wrong since they placed us fifth, finished fifth. So. What you can. Same thing Chad said. We just got to stay together and show everybody what we can do. Thanks, guys.